Tiny tea bag. Is this? <laughs> It's 6 a.m. and sometimes I like to have a coffee in the garden. It's so peaceful, just the sounds of the birds. I sit and reflect. I sit and try and make sense of the world and what's happening. And then I push those intrusive thoughts away because there's nothing I can do. And then I feel at peace for a bit. I watch the birds. I watch my furry babies run around. I think of Sue's. I think of everybody that's going through hardships. I think of all the love that's here. Cookie stamping. There was a bird in the bush, so I've gone to uh, make sure she's okay. <laughs>
Oh, that's better. I've done all the washing up. Loads of chores done already. Before 7am. Just gone 7 now. And I haven't had porridge in ages. I'm going to have a little bit of porridge for my breakfast. These are good because you just you know how much milk to put in by filling it up to the line in the bag. <laughs> and then microwave for... Two minutes. <laughs> you know what I've done. I blocked the bloody microwave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's move all this over here. Oh, I don't know how I get by. I literally don't know how I get by in life. <laughs> You go there. You can go. There. You can go there. Oh wow, the rain and thunderstorms have started. So I've just launched myself out in the garden uh, to get the babies in. And it is hammering it down and the thunder's crashing around. I mean, there'll be people saying, why can't they stay out when it's raining? They don't want to. They run into my arms. They run into my arms to come in to be with us so they can hop around inside instead. Just watching a bit of telly. These two fast asleep. I'll come and sit with you for a bit. <laughs> I thought I'll put you back out because it's gone a bit sunny now. And we've had a break in the rain, haven't we? But it does say that the it does say that the thunderstorms are going to start again in a couple of hours. Then you don't you all you're all lounged out, aren't you? Lounging. Oh, who's just lounging in a shut off handsome? Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully we can stay in if we want. Yeah. Don't have to go anywhere. Stay in and play with your toys and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the happy boy. Love being in with your mum, don't you? Are you going to sleep? Oh. Little boy. He's so little. He got tiny little yellows. Oh, night night. Night night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so handsome. Look at you lounging. Lounging like the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> Sometimes I just like sitting with you. I just like sitting with you. Because you're so cute. We're playing with all your toys. He's a clever boy. God, he launches the balls and everything off the wall. <laughs> Normally at four o'clock in the morning. No, yeah. Oh, what are you doing under there? Don't eat my toes. Don't eat my toes. Yeah, come through your tunnel. Come on in. There he is. Beep, beep. Hey, clever boy! <laughs> you look like a chinchilla. You look like a chinchilla. Let's go outside for a little bit, yeah? I'll get you back in when it rains. Right, guys, if they've not been munched on, I think I better pick these two before they do get munched. I could have had them on my porridge, couldn't I? Oh, yummy. Have we got any more? Not yet. Not yet. So, guys, I've put babies out again because it looks okay. Well, for now, I'm going to keep a close eye on it. But they can go out for a little bit longer. It's supposed to get really bad about one. It's about half nine now. I'm going to try these little tiny strawberries. Have I given them a wash? Let me try one. Mmm. My oh God, they taste so different to shop-bought ones. And they're not that, they're not different, are they, really? Mmm. Oh, wow. Yum. Good girl. Good boy. And my blue hydrangea. It didn't flower last year, but it is this year. Look. The year before last, it had massive big heads all over. I'm not sure if um, this is blocking the sun a little bit, but my neighbour, my lovely neighbour, who knows what she's doing, said the one that gave me all those flowers that time said that they did they like shade oh, i need to get rid of them nettles hi darling oh my sweetheart i love you this one is thriving as it does always hi tiny tea bag i love you little buddy yeah this this pinky purple one is doing so well Big daisies.
Good boy. He's so good at running and jumping. <laughs> and we do have another hydrangea. Oh gosh, I've not been back here for a little while. Our rose bush hasn't f that we got for our wedding of bean hasn't flowered this year. Hopefully it will. I've not been back into our little woodland bit for a while. But the white hydrangea is doing really well. See, they do like shade. Oh, I've got s somebody above me. <laughs> and the climbing roses. Oh my gosh, it's raining. I knew it. I should have known. I just put them out and it would start lashing it down again. Oh no, it's going to get heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Cookie. Mummy made the wrong decision. Oh my god. Oh, Cookie. We're going to get soaked. Are you coming in? Oh, we got a bit wet, didn't we? We're soaking. Cook. We got a bit wet, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You're drying yourself off. Oh, my goodness. I knew it as soon as I put you out, it would lash it down. What's going on? I'm cleaning yourself. Get yourself dry. Hello. You're welcome. Just bring me in. Don't like it outside. I want to be in with you, Mum. I want to be in with you, Mummy. Mm -hmm. When we get your proper enclosure done, then we've got big indoor spaces, not hutches. No, no, no. We've got big indoor spaces. What are you doing on my bum? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but honestly, since it started raining then, literally been out for another five minutes. Started raining. And they were both like, come get me, come get me and we'll play inside. They're we'll playing inside. We can just listen to the rain, can't we? Cheeky pants. Oh, it's so peaceful. I can't believe it's not even 10 a.m. And I'm still, I've done so much. Me and the babies have done so much. And it's, people are just getting up. I've got a little moth sheltering from the rain on the window on the outside. God, I'm such an empath. I want to go save it. <laughs> uh, my orchid's dropped all of its blooms. That's normal, guys. It's not dead. An orchid will always look like this. You know, completely dead. These are still living. But the new shoots and the new um, buds will appear like they are here, look. So never, ever think it's dead, an orchid. When the new um, growths appear, clip them onto the, the, the spikes so they can grow up. And um, soon enough, they'll be, it'll bloom with loads of new orchid flowers again. The racing hyacinths, ash, that's ashes now, totally winning, but it's not bloomed yet. That one's still going. So ash, ash is winning. And the monkey jars, I've got loads of big jars on, so they're doing well there. And my little Venus fly traps, I'm going to sort a shelf out for them. Love it. What I thought I might do though, is get some chicken out. 
to defrost because Ash, I spoke to Ash on the phone. He's had a lovely time with Philip. They didn't actually do any fishing yesterday. They went to the pub. <laughs> but um, Ash said, get a takeaway. and Just treat yourself, have a takeaway. But I don't think I'm... I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. So, if I get some chicken out, two chicken thighs there to defrost. Look how dark it is with the uh, thunderstorm raging outside. Um, if I get some chicken out to defrost, then I've got some wraps and some salad that needs eating. Do you know what? And that is such a nice, healthy, yummy dinner. So that's what I might have later. I'm going to put some of this washing up away because it's all dry. That's ready to go away. Oh, I love a productive morning. Oh my God. I love a productive morning. I spoke to Suze. She did have, I can say now because she has shared it. She did have her stent change and catheter changed in hospital yesterday uh, which she'd been waiting they told her she should have it done every two to three months when she was first diagnosed last June and she had them put in then uh, and lo and behold she's been waiting six seven months anyway I'll never I can't stop getting frustrated at the system but Sue's she doesn't like it when I get frustrated on the channel about it so I'll keep that to myself. But anyway, she's had it done. That's the main thing. She's had it done now. She's very sore. Oh, I love you so much, Suze. I just wish I could take it all away. I wish I could take all of it from you and swap. But I'm so glad you're home. Why are we getting upset? It's only because I'm on my own. It's only because I'm on my own. Just on my own. And I just wish I could take all the pain away and everything from you. Um... But the main thing is you've had it done. You've had it done now, so we can just move forward. And um, you'll heal and feel feel better from that in a, in a day or two. And then you don't have to worry about that. That's one less thing to worry about. So I'm, just, I'm glad you're home and that you're safe. Okay, sweetheart. Love you so much. So I'm going to get this washing put away, washing up put away. I haven't had chicken super noodles for so long. So I'm just going to have a little tiny snack. Whoa.
from the rainwater from the plant. asleep and I felt so rough when I woke up I think with this with the thunderstorms just carrying on um, I feel really sort of muggy and my head's all fuzzy uh, so I thought you know what I'll just come out for a quick drive we I know that I did the big shop the other day and I still got loads of stuff left but we definitely need baked beans for Ash because he plowed through those Aldi baked beans and they said that they're now his favorite so I'll get some more of them and we've run out of lacto-free milk because I had a couple of big iced coffees. Um, so I've just come to get beans and milk and to get out of the house for a little bit because I'm all on my own. Um, and I was I was bored and feeling a bit blare. So that's what I've done. But it's such heavy rain, I'm just waiting to get out of the car. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that that can't do this. So I went to Aldi to get baked beans, and I got a couple of a couple of little bits, um, the biscuits that he likes and stuff like that. Uh, mega busy at the queues. They opened another till. Um, queues everywhere. I uh, got back to my car it down rain and I've got the beans oh lord I'm not going back in Aldi I need to go to Asda to get my lacto free milk so I'm going to get some beans in there oh my goodness I need a brain transplant you're seriously not you're not going to believe it so I got, I got into Asda, got my bits, um, put through what I had at the till and then fire alarm went off and we all got evacuated so I haven't got any beans. I, I came out for milk and beans, I got my milk but I didn't get any beans. And I'm sat in the car now, just rang Ash, told him I couldn't get his beans and I felt like crying and to just talk me down. Uh, and I can't, I'm not, I'm not waiting to go back in Asda now. You know, all I, uh, all I wanted was milk and beans. Never mind. Right, that's, that's the end of today's video, guys. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have got out of bed, really. I spoke to Suze earlier and she said she was staying in bed recovering. And I said, I'm in bed with you, I'm staying in bed. Um you know we're not together but we felt together both in bed together and I decided to come out and I should have just stayed in bed but they, you know it happens doesn't it Ash told me not to worry it's only beans it's only blooming beans isn't it anyway that's the end of today's video I love you so much I'm going to go home get back into bed and tomorrow's another day